Hi there. Hello. Hello. Uh, oh yeah, there, there he is. Um, I see Chip. Hi. Chip says, "Bang, zoom straight to the moon." Oh yeah, that. Just hold on. Um, Chris says, "Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077." Last time we entered the cyberspace and discovered that the internet has hypnotized its inhabitants. After freeing Bosco and doing some money laundering, we faced off against the virus defense guard, but the internet wasn't happy. Sending us to an old text adventure game. It gave the compassion for humanity back. And before the internet died, we uncovered the name of the man behind it all. Roy G. Vib. Wow, that's that's a recap. That's a quite sure. recap. Yes. Um, Chris says, it's back in, in new. Oh, oh, we have a new Pog champ. Oh, wow. Who's this guy? <laughs> um, Kai, hi. Hello. Kai says, evening, Rick. Hi. So yeah, um, let me launch this thing. I um yeah. So sorry about skipping yesterday. I mean, I I basically did two streams, two five-hour streams, two days in a row, and it just kind of killed me. And also yesterday I was kind of busy with work stuff, and I needed some time for myself. But hey, I got a couple drawings uh out of it, so it was good. I'm glad I didn't stream yesterday. Um, Stripeback, hi. Stripeback says, apparently they're going to rotate it so it's different every day. Also, hi. Wait, really different? Uh, uh when are we getting Pog, Pog Champ with Rick? Rick Champ? They should, they should, they should let in, if anybody submit one, so everybody gets a turn. Um, yeah, that would be fun. That's, a, that's actually a fun idea. Um, but yeah, hi, hi Stripeback. Okay, so where are we on this? Um, so yeah, we did Reality 2.0 last time for the first stream of the year. And now we do the last part of this game. It's episode 6, The Bright Side of the Moon. Which is, I guess, it's, it's the culmination of whatever the hell is going on here. Oh, yes. This will be okay, the season let's... finale if this was a sitcom. I mean, it is. It is the it is the finale, yeah. And because we got the confirmation that 
they are working on the other two. Uh, we'll be back to this series after this is done. But for now, let's see what this is about. Ah. Here we go. Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Get to spraying, America! Let's heat this mother up! This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Biv. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or whom? We're detectives, Sam, not mind readers. Hey, maybe we should ask Hugh Bliss. Mind readers? That's it. No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors? No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. That's it. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Bibb is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... It's the commissioner. The commissioner? I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Never! What? Oh, no, commissioner. I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat! By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat, the blister of tranquility. Oh boy, I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines. Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. Oh boy. All right, uh, Chip says, get to those stable, get to those stable, fly away to space. <laughs> Kai says, if the three DLC fighter for Smash Ultimate release this year, do we all of us on Twitch by the end year? Wait, what? What? Um, yes. Chris says, of course, never trust magic albinos. Albinos, sorry. What? Albinos. Yes. Well, I don't know many magic albinos. Ooh, colorful. It was never this colorful. This is new. Uh, episode 6, Bright Side of the Moon. I mean, it's thematic with the... with the theme of the episode. Ah, oh, feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Is that a visitor center? Oh, boy. I mean, I, I love that this is just like the comics and just like the show. They can be like, oh, we are in the moon. How? I don't know. It just happened. <laughs> because just like in the comics, it happened just like that. Although in that time, they had like paperbacks instead of helmets. Yeah. Here they don't even bother, I guess. <laughs> uh, Strikeback says, does that mean, so does that mean Hugh Bliss really is an alien? I don't remember. Let's see. Kai says, play this year in the game, curse my missing word. Um, I am not playing Smash Ultimate until the next uh, fighter gets released, and even then, probably not much. I don't do Smash, Smash much. Actually, yesterday I spent most of the day playing a um, home run contest on my own, but just because I needed something to hit. Um... Chip says, in the cartoon episode, they actually show the comic panel and say, this joke was made decades ago. <laughs> okay, let's see the flag. How does it do that when there's no wind on the moon? Nobody knows. Uh, 
Um, also, don't forget to talk with Max a lot in this area. So is my aunt Tilly, here. but they can't prove anything. That's quite a rocket engine. Somebody left a footprint here in the dust. My foot's bigger! Actually, it wasn't. Huh. Chris says, so no boss in this episode? I mean, can we even return back? Right up. Help me out with something. Sure. Never mind. What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? Take a vacation! Seems like we've been working for the past seven months straight! My feet are killing me. That may be, but we can't press charges unless we catch him in the act. I miss the old days, when our cases were less thinking and more shooting stuff. Luckily, my short-term memory makes me impervious to nostalgia. Random but innocuous comment. Irreverent reply that hints at mental instability. You crack me up, little buddy. Huh. Um, Chip says, oh no, the frame rate seems off. Or it might just be the low gravity. Um, it's... the gr Never mind. The frame rate seems to be working out for me. Oh, wait. Is it... Oh, I think I do have low frame rate. Come on. Yeah, I see. I see low frame rates. Do you see them? Yep. Okay. Oh man, give me a sec. Hold on. I guess I got. I got. I got the bad. The bad lux. Yep, that's a crash. Okay. Um, I'll be back. Hold on. <laughs> 